All right, you guys, this is Ross. I wanted to talk about the gummyberry again. I wanted to really showcase this particular plant because we've, we've been talking a lot about it and I've always talked about its traits and different things that I really like, like the flavor, the production, the overall just general, you don't have to care for it. Uh, the fact that um, this particular variety has a larger size to it than other gummy berries. Uh, this, the uh, flesh to pit ratio is a lot better on this one. It's called Carmine. Really a big fan of this particular plant. And I featured this actually recently in my must grow uh, number of fruit trees or fruiting plants that you must grow in a backyard orchard. Now that it's in full bloom, I wanted to really showcase this particular plant because in this video, we, I wanna to touch on what are some of my most productive berry plants? because uh, I think berries are great. They're easy to grow. Just across the board, any of these berry plants that you can think of are just very simple, um, usually problem-free. The birds love them, the uh, critters love them, but there's definitely a varying degree and difference that I've noticed so far in the productivity. Um, this one is just a champ, I think. It's in the top tier of productivity. I've been saying that, and I wasn't really sure exactly how productive it was, but on every single node on this plant, it'll produce flowers pretty much. There's very few exceptions I've seen over the years, really vigorous shoots that come up from the base, like vigorous water shoots. They won't necessarily fruit that year, the following year, but they may fruit the year after. Obviously, if they get some age to them, they slow down a bit. Um, but just about every single node on here has flowers and you can really see it well and every node not only do they have flowers but they're they're somewhere around the four four flower to about seven flower mark the bees love it obviously there's a nice little bumblebee they get drunk and uh, they've been flying into stuff recently but it's pretty insane. I, actually, I think it's a beautiful plant. I had some tulips planted underneath and it just is striking. This whole section of the yard is striking. This weed, whatever it is, it's so difficult to get rid of. I hate it, but in the spring, it's beautiful. It gets these purple flowers to it. It's actually really not bad. But, you know, back to this, uh, this Gumi. It really is quite a shocker. Here's about four flowers on that one. This node here has got five flowers. This one's here got about six or seven. So, and then you've got this, this side of the tree, which actually these nodes here haven't produced anything. And this is, uh, for whatever reason, this side of the tree is a little bit more sparse than the rest of it, but you still got plenty of fruits over here. Um, it's just covered, it's just loaded. The lower parts of the tree that are shaded, not as filled as fruits, filled uh, with fruits, excuse me. 